All right, welcome everyone. So I'm, I'm Julie Leesk and I'm going to be facilitating this workshop with the help of um, some other facilitators and presenters. Uh, so I'm just going to show you what, we, what we've got planned here. Our aim at the end of it is to think about whether we can develop a framework for vaccination program resilience. And we're going to get there by uh, doing a reverse brainstorm, looking at some case studies of diverse experiences with vaccination programs. So we're going to start with, um, uh, uh, um, we're going to have three countries presenting in parallel. So you'll, you'll have to choose which country you want to hear about. And we have people from those countries who are, are going to be presenting very short PowerPoint presentations that take you through their experience with their um, uh, issue. And, as a, and then you'll have a facilitator who will um, guide your discussion to think about what were the vulnerabilities um, and or strengths within that program that affected what happened in that case study. So with the Philippines, uh, you'll be looking at the Dengvaxia in, in issues against a backdrop in measles and healthcare system um, problems. With Ireland, you'll be looking at the HPV vaccination experience and the vulnerabilities that led to a drop in coverage and the recovery that's been happening. Uh, and, and by the way, Anna Ong Ling will be presenting um, from the Philippines. Lucy Jessup will be presenting about Ireland. And for Australia, Kerry Wiley will be presenting the MMR vaccination scare where uh, uh, we didn't get affected by coverage. So looking at what might have contributed to that lack of impact on our coverage when you compare it, say, with the UK, which had a big impact on coverage. So we'll be going to different rooms depending on where you want to go. And then we'll report back as a big group and uh, we'll have a bit of a discussion about the framework. So we're going to start with this reverse brainstorm session now. But before I go on, does anyone have a question? OK. So. A reverse brainstorm is designed to get you thinking about the issues in a slightly creative way. So we did this many years ago uh, at a, a mo our Motive think tank, and it's lots of fun because you kind of get to imagine yourself as a bit of an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> so I want you to imagine that you want to disrupt a vaccination program write down three to five things you would ensure happens or that you would do. And some post-it notes are going to be coming around and it's important that you use the post-it notes because we're going to all walk up to the back of the room and organise those post-it notes on a, on a big board thematically. So put each new thing on a post-it note and Kira's just um, bringing around those now. So just take a few minutes now to do that. And once I see that most of you have got written your thing, then we'll assemble up the back. OK, now the challenging part. Now that you've written your things, we're going to go up to the back of the room where there are two boards. And we're going to put our post-it notes on the boards but what you have to do when you place them is self-organise in themes. So I'm going to get someone who, who feels like they've got a fairly broad array, Katie. So I want you to go up and put your different things on different areas. And then other people can go up and um, add their things if they're thematically located to near them or um, put them in a slightly separate area. So you go up now. So what we'll do now is, you guys have sort of seen, you, you've put, put your post-its together in fair, various clustered areas. 
Now I want you guys to start to summarise them. So Katie's over here, she's going to help you and she's looking at the board with what, communications related messages, messaging, civil society related stuff, right? So what, we'll stay up here I think we're, and, and it's delightfully chaotic and different and we're not in straight lines and facing the same direction. We're not sitting. So, so what we're going to do now is we're going to hear from our people who have summarised the thematic clusters and we're going to start with this group and Holly, or Katie, Holly, yep, over to you. Really concerning the people in this um, in this room today about the underlying kind of message that kept coming out was about attacking attacking people. So we are either we are either attacking government, we're attacking infrastructure, or attacking pharma. Um, beyond the attacking, there was a lot of talk about sabotaging. So whether that's mobilising people to get into public meetings and and start to get that um, sentiment anti-vaccine sentiment through that one. We even went to the space of mobilising healthcare workers to rise up against the system. Um, other spaces beyond the attacking one really because was about the systemic issues. So making people, increasing the amount that you need to pay or increasing the travel to access, re to access services. Um, then back to the supply space. So we could have electricity issues that would affect refrigerators or we could attack the refrigerators, as someone said. We could have supply chain issues which then reducing the actual availability in communities. We could go as far as having fake vaccines or having expiry date issues. Um, we could be attacking the credibility of managers, um, lobbying against those research, getting into the research space and actually going as far as publishing um, defamatory stories, anti-vax work. Um, no, I think that's it. Yep. <laughs> okay, so uh, here we've got systemic... Can you write that? Systemic disruption. And then we've got things related to access, yeah? So limiting access. And then um, sabotage of supply. Yeah? Okay. So this group. Once we've just summarised those three... Classes, this is the beauty of having qualitative researchers here. <laughs> we'll flip over the chart and we'll summarise yours as well. So you can start. Okay, thanks Julie. Um, so our group was really around raising alarm regarding adverse events, so particularly focusing on vaccine safety and fake news. Um, strategies were um, mostly around social media and that included starting a new page, using very emotive stories, videos and scary movies, blogs, um, giving public alternatives regarding vaccines, so promoting homeopathy and other strategies, um, spreading rumour and lies within the community or within family circles and targeting mainstream media. Somebody suggested public protesting, so activism, protesting with signs outside clinics. Um, somebody said make fake studies and put it in fake journals and start publishing in fake journals. Um, Organise a parental group through social media that um, discusses only anti-vax um, stories. Um, Galvanise religious leaders against vaccines. Um, yes, um, and particularly focus on being misleading. So tell people the wrong locations and times to get their child vaccinated um, and to pay the Russians. Who said that? <laughs> is that a troll one? Is that a fake, fake, fake bots? Yeah, okay. So how would you, I heard Heidi saying this is, this is about strategy, etc. How would you sort of summarise these as thematic clusters? A 
and how and how is the message amplified? What how would you summarise that? Okay. So, can someone just flick to the next slide for me, please? Just race down and flick to the next slide. Okay, so this is very much focused around um, vaccine safety uh, because that was, the, that, that was the sort of the prompt, you know, if you want to derail a vaccination program. Um, so, because this workshop is about health system resilience, I want to just give you a definition that has been proposed by Kruk and colleagues. Uh, thank you. And uh, it, it says this, that health system resilience, so health system resilience, is the capacity of health actors, institutions and populations to prepare for and effectively respond to crises maintain core functions when a crisis hits, and informed by lessons learned during the crisis, reorganise if conditions require it. And they based this paper on um, three case studies. One was uh, approaches to care for the diverse needs working with non-state actors during the Syrian refugee influx in Lebanon. Another was around Liberia's Ebola crisis and another was around um, multiple actors during natural disasters in Indonesia. So diverse case studies. And uh, they developed their framework. The framework is very much about health system resilience, but we're thinking about vaccination program resilience. So we're quite specific here. And this exercise was designed to sort of get your head into the space of different ways you could disrupt a vaccination program.